If you don't shape your future, you're letting the future run you over. How many of us focus so much on worrying about what won't work? Everyone is here for the same reason, and that is you came here to generate breakthrough results in your life. How do you show up every day? That's leadership. How do you deal with adversity? That's leadership. How many people in this room have at least something you want to get better at? When you follow through, you are most of all teaching yourself that you will not quit. I want this to be a session that you never forget. The real purpose of a motivational speaker is to help people motivate themselves. Motivation is internal. My time today with you is 100% about you. It's about you seeing yourself as what I call a breakthrough leader. Every event in which I've spoken for 27 years, they want the people in that event to break through to the next level. Whether it be in reducing turnover, whether it be in, in improving sales, whether it be in working better together, being more innovative. And that requires each person to understand that they are leaders. Everyone's a breakthrough leader. How do you show up every day? That's leadership. How do you deal with adversity? That's leadership. Ready? One, two, three. Say it again. It was indescribable, amazing. Absolutely transformation. Surprise is not even, I don't even know how to describe that feeling. Brian's presentation was so inspiring. I was thinking, how can I be better? How can I do better? Does she deserve your full out support? I was so terrified at one point, I could feel my body and my hands shaking. Self-doubt is a powerful thing, but it's also a powerful thing if you can push through it. This experience will stay with me probably for the rest of my life. Change the way you look at people, the people you look at change. Change the way you look at yourself, the self you see will change. That's why we're breaking boards today. I want people to see the possibility, the solution, not the limit, not the obstacle. Change the way you look at people, the people you look at change. I'll give you an example. As I look out at you, some may relate to this. Uh, great example of how powerful this can be when you start to control your vision. When my oldest daughter, Kelsey, went away to college, I missed her so much. But you talk about seeing a yield sign for the first time. When Kelsey came home from college the very first time for Thanksgiving holiday, I finally had a breakthrough. I finally realized how long I had been looking at my beautiful daughter, though I love her completely, I've been staring at her for years like she was an old yellow yield sign. I've been looking at her forever like she's still my little 11 year old little girl. Hey, she's been driving her own car for three years. Every day she's waking up hundreds and hundred miles away from us and deciding what she's going to do with the greatest gift we're ever given, which is called today. She walked into our house that Thanksgiving, smile on her face, big grin, looked at her mom and I, announced to her mom and I that she had already applied for and already been accepted to go do a very special service program in Africa because my daughter wants to make the world better. And I looked at my Kelsey that day, maybe for the very first time. And I finally realized that every time I looked at her as if she were an old yellow yield sign, what happened to our relationship? It went backwards until I looked at the beautiful, mature, courageous, incredible young woman that was right in front of me all along. Does that make sense? One of my simple goals for everyone, because this is the first step to shape the future, the crucial ingredient to control your vision, is for everyone to stand tall from this point forward, become a world-class yield sign finder about the people that you lead and serve, about the people that you love, but most of all about the person you look at when you look in the mirror, because change the way you look at people, people you look at change, change the way you see yourself, the self you see will change. I tried a couple of times and it didn't break and I let that, that fear, that self-doubt creep in. Right before I broke it, I felt this release and I felt all this emotion rush from my body and all that energy went into the palm of my hand and, and it was the most powerful feeling ever. It's so much more than breaking boards, just the feeling of empowerment and the feeling that I alone can have the power to not only change my life and my business, but also the world as well. There's a higher degree of emotion because they did it. They may not even remember my name, but they're gonna remember when they did something they didn't know they could do. 
they're going to remember those key principles and apply it with their kids, apply it in their work. When you get people involved in a program, mind, body, and spirit, so they're not just sitting there listening, the take, the adhesion, is a thousand times stronger. All right, everybody stand up, hands by your side. Let's get rid of that. Shake that out. Do this intelligent thing, go blah, 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 blah. A lot of the creativity and the work that I do is about customization. What are your really desired outcomes? What's your theme? How do you want them to think differently? I don't try to pretend I know their business as well as they do, but what I do know is people. And what I'm trying to do is make sure that I weave into the presentation all the way along those key goals, those key words, to make it really personal to them. You leave here and say, I'm gonna get more done in less time and have more balance in my life. I'm gonna get in better physical shape than I've been in in five years. I'm gonna be a more loving human being. I look at my events as, as, a, as a real balance of powerful, practical, doable content with a, a style and a presentation that's fun, that's real, that's emotional, that's entertaining. Are you ready to break some boards? <laughs>